Columbia, South Carolina. Welcome. Thank you for the spirited entry. Are you ready? Yes! Please begin. Started like most things. Slow. One drop at a time. This time it's different. The rains and waters are coming. service in homeless shelters, soup kitchens, and the children's hospital. 
We also have front porch roll calls, where we take our roll calls on the road to our neighbor's front porches. We have daily shift briefings there, and we talk about crime trends and data initiatives. We also have the Young Ambassadors for Justice. We bring youth in from across Columbia to discuss topics that are rele relevant to them. We also find that we have more in common than we do in contrast. Don't forget about the ice cream. Oh yeah, how could I forget? So we bought an ice cream truck last year. We go throughout the city of Columbia giving out ice cream to our friends and neighbors. We even like to eat the ice cream too. Thank you. on the banks of the Congaree River in the middle of South Carolina. It was then that Senator John DeVay uttered the prescient words that he prayed that the oppressed of all lands might find refuge under the wings of Columbia. We've come a long way since then. We now have both citizens from 200 different countries who speak 90 different languages. Because of men and women who came before us and those leaders behind me today, we built a city as one Columbia is open to all. We work to build a police department that does believe in justice for all and works every day to reflect the values of our community. We work to build a stadium that not only understood that we needed this for our community in the public realm, but that indeed we could get into the minutia of procurement include everyone in this process, including our homeless citizens, who we trained, gave them a tool belt, and they built this stadium, and now are still working on construction jobs in the American economic system. And yes, in our darkest times, the floods of 2015, we lost 19 of our citizens. We worked together, together, across ethnic lines, across racial lines, across religious lines, to prove that we are indeed one Columbia. As we prepare in 2036 to be a world-class city, we know that along the way, we're going to be an all-American city as well. Thank you. 
Let me tell you a little about it with my big, big mouth. You see, our community's going through a sort of renaissance. Our main street has been transformed with art and restaurants. Our capital building used to house a flag of hate, but we've taken that sucker down. Now, isn't that great? We were the first time in the nation to ban stocks. Now, parks feel safer, taking families on walks. We hope y'all enjoy hearing our little ditty and convince Columbia should be an all American city. Thank you. Thank you.